Hey guys, today I want to show you how to navigate efficiently in the Forge. The tricks in this video are especially useful when you are working on a more complex patch. First of all, it's obvious that you can move the cursor or select cell or whatever you want to call this white box around with the mouse or the arrow keys. What you might not have discovered yet is the home and the end key, which you can use to jump to the beginning and end, and then page up and page down, which go up or down one circuit. If you work with a MacBook like I do, these keys are missing but reachable via the FN key. FN left and right is home and end, FN up and down is page up and page down. There are also key combinations for jumping to another section, namely command up and down. Please don't confuse this with alt up and down. This moves the current section up or down. By the way, you can also move circuits in a similar way. This is done with shift, command, up or down. If your section has a lot of circuits, it can get confusing. Did you know that you can collapse circuits? Just press the space bar. And with shift space, you can collapse and expand all circuits at once. You may already know similar things from other programs. But there are also a few functions that only Forge has and that are specifically tailored to droid patches. Very often you want to know where a certain pot or button is used in a patch. To do this, you can find the entry Find this control in your patch in the context menu on the corresponding control. This also works for inputs and outputs. Of course, this only makes sense if they are used in the patch and therefore marked in the rack view. So with this, you jump to the first reference of the jack or control in the patch. For buttons, this can be either the B register for the button or the L register for the LED. If you want to find more occurrences, just press the question mark. By the way, this is also possible without entering the rack view. Just press the question mark on a register and you jump to the next use of the same jack or control. In a similar way, if you press the question mark on a patch cable, you jump to the next place where this is used. When you reach the end of the patch, it automatically starts from the beginning. And since version 1.1 of the Forge, there is finally a search function. You can find it as usual with command F. Here you can search for everything a patch contains, including numbers, names of circuits, parameters, cables, registers and text and comments. Sometimes you want to return to a place where you just have been, for example to copy something from somewhere else. To do this, you can bookmark the current position with command shift J. This bookmark is indicated by a white dotted border. Later you can easily jump back there with command J. And for the sake of completeness, if you have problems in the patch, you can jump from one to the next by clicking on the arrow icon. I hope there was something new for you. Stay tuned and see you next time.